Hello folks, Zero One Eight here. I made a video on how to run boxes yesterday, and I was backed up with orders, and I had a gentleman asking me a million questions, I was trying to explain to him, and he couldn't understand, and uh, I made a mistake in my video, so I want to revise it and fix it, and first off, I want to apologize for my mistake. Nobody's perfect. It happens. This is why it's so important that I preach this over and over and over, the decky rule, because it don't take one little mistake and you got problems. When I told y'all that the uh, eight pill was a eight watts dead key, it was actually four going in. That's why I say never worry about the dead key going in, I always look at the dead key going out. I was reading that 25 slug as a 50 the other day in my video, in my last video, I deleted it. So I was actually doing four to produce 200 key. It was a four watt carrier producing 200. So I made a mistake, it happens, oh well, I'm going to correct it here and try to explain to y'all. That's why it's really important to really pay attention to this. First thing about the survival of HGs, now again, this is my opinion, this ain't in stone nowhere, people's going to argue, people's not going to agree. This is my opinion, this is my rule, and this is what I've went by, and actually, I, I'll be honest with you, the rule started with X-Force on PP100s, and I stole it from him. And I've always used it, and it works great with HGs. And when you follow the rules that I tell you here, the boxes last, and the pills don't get damaged. So, I mean, that's why I'm trying to share it with y'all. I'm trying to protect your investment. This video is to protect your investment. This video is not to show that I'm a know-it-all or no more than anybody else or anything like that. I'm telling you what works for me and keeps the boxes working and don't damage the pills, okay? And you get long-term use out of them. That's all this video is about. To start with, first off, you need an MFJ analyzer or rig expert. If you don't have one, get one. If you can't, if you can't afford one, borrow your friends. And what you do with it is you want to set your SWR to close to 1.3 as you can get it, close to 50 ohms as you can get it, and X equals zero as close as you can get it. If you can't get exactly, don't have to be exactly, you can go between 45 and 55 ohms, okay? And uh, X can equal five or 10, you know, about five or six, and you can get by. But that 1.5 will be the maximum SWR I'd run any HG box at. Okay, now, since we, we cleared that up about the slug, I read it wrong the other day, it's 25 watt slug. I was telling you eight watts, and it was actually four watts going in, okay? All right, now let's just do this video over. We're gonna start off with the 25 watt rule. This is this is this is my rule how I do it. Like I said, I, I kind of stole this from X Force on his PP 100s, but he wrote it up. And I liked it. It works good. It's cool. All right, first off, 25 watts per HG 16 D08 2879 transistor, dead key. Now, when I say 25 watts dead key, that means per output transistor. That's not input, that's whatever. When you turn your amp on, you key the mic, and it reads 25 watts per output transistor. In other words, two, you're allowed 50 watts. Four, you can go 100. Six, 150. Eight, 200. 10 would be 250, and so on. 25 watts. You can figure each one of these boogers, 25 watts dead key, okay? That's the main thing. It don't really matter what you're putting in. It's what's coming out. But I've made that, you know, I showed you what was input and I told you wrong, and that's why I'm redoing the video. So let's start off looking at this. We're gonna go with our Galaxy 88, our Texas Star 350, and our 8 pill. okay? Now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna look at the 1,000 watt slug. We want to achieve a 200 watt carrier out of this 8 pill is the correct carrier. So we key up. We're going to grab our variable and start cranking it up until we get up to 200. There's 200 watt carrier. That is the proper carrier for this box to last. And this is, like I said again, this ain't in stone. This is my opinion. This is not the maximum level. The box to key more, but I'm telling you how I would run it to preserve transistors and get a long life from the amplifier. 1,000 watt slug, 200 watt carrier. Worldwide, worldwide in the corner. 
All right, now let's go back. We're gonna turn this off. Let's try this again. Let's go back to our 25 watt slug. Look at what we're keying input. All right, we're reading the top scale, and I was reading the middle scale yesterday. So four watts carrier, four watts is what it takes to achieve 200 watts carrier out of an eight pill. I thought eight was high yesterday. I looked at that two hundred times. I was like, man, that's too high. So four watts into eight pill will achieve two hundred. And every box can differ. That's why I'm saying I'm not so much worried about what you key in. I'm worried about when you turn it on and you key it up, the final key out. Because every box, every antenna, every watt meter, every SWR, every radio is just a little different. So what we're doing. What we're putting into that box right now is we're keying four watts. We're just putting about 90 into it right there. Hello, audio. Now, I can do this a little different too. Well, I can turn my day key up down on my radio. So I can come over here. So you change it all. Let me turn it off, please. Now, I've turned my Texas Star way up, but I turn my decky down on my radio. So by doing that, I can achieve more swing into the box, which will make it swing over there easier. Where do I get on that? But still, when it's all, all said and done, let me put this in forward. It's the same carry in, four watts. See, four watts. But now, since we turned down the key on the radio and turned the box up, thousand watts slow. We're alive, we're alive, we're alive, we're alive, we're swinging over 100. In other words, the swing don't ain't what gets you in trouble. It's the day key, SWR, and the heat. So you can go, I mean, you can swing up to 200 watts and eight pill, no problem. But you've got to keep the carrier down. If you don't keep the carrier down, they eat transistors. And while I'm going over this, I'm going to explain one more thing. Just because. Just like you flip this box to sideband. Okay. Just because you flip it to sideband and there ain't no carrier does not mean that you can turn your carrier wide open on your radio and amp. The amplifier still knows it. So when it's on, you set it on AM and when you flip the sideband, you don't touch nothing. If anything, you turn your carrier down more. If you, just because you don't have no carrier on sideband, if you go to cranking the power up, when you go to sideband, you'll still blow pills. I just thought I'd tell you that. But I'm trying to make this a real informative video. Maybe I don't make no mistakes today. So, but now, that being said, we was not going by maximum rate, okay? Let me show you what the box can do. Doesn't want slow. I mean, this thing a key. Look. There's over 800 carrier. Just because it will, don't mean it won't last. It will damage your transistors right there, okay? So 200 watt carrier. And if you're gonna try to bend the rule a little bit, keep it under three. A 200 watt safe zone will damage to your transistors. But like I said, just because it will, don't mean it'll last. Just like a car or anything else, you get into going down the road and you hold your car to the floor everywhere you go, Go to the dollar store and go to Walmart, your car's gonna blow up. I mean, you know, same thing. So we'll look at this one more time. Now, and I know I'm sound like a preacher, and I keep preaching this because I don't want you guys to blow your boxes up. I don't want you to have no trouble. I want you to have a good life and, and you know, and protect your investment and get your money's worth. So it's 25 watts per pill, two output transistors is 50, four output transistors is 100, six output transistors is 150, Eight output transistors, 200. Now listen, it don't matter if it's a two by four, it's still a four pill. If it's a one by two, it's still a two pill. If it's two by six, it's still a six pill. If it's two by eight, it's still an eight pill. You go by the end output transistors only. So one more time. We got a SWR at 1.3. We're running about 52 ohms. Antenna set. So now we're gonna check our radio. We're going to set our carrier up for our 8-pill. 
We're gonna take our Texas Star, come right over here, a thousand watt slug, and we're gonna roll the carrier up to 200. And that's how we're gonna set it for the longest life out of our transistors. And that being said, with that on, the Texas Star is actually keying. We're gonna read that top scale, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So four watts in, makes 200 carrier out. So, so on. And that's probably about how to equal out. So, like if you run a, if you run a 10 pill, you can probably do six watts. A 12 pill, you can probably do seven, eight. A 16 pill, you can probably do maybe double that. But you know, you can get a couple more watts per couple pills. You can get about another watt carrier in per pill. But the dead key is what matters about the life of these amplifiers. You can swing like crazy. Man, you can swing 250 into this and not hurt it. And run it at 15.5 volts. But that's why, that's again, another reason people can't seem to grasp this. A lot of the radios are not modded. And when they turn the carrier down, they won't swing forward. And when they won't swing forward, they can't get their high PEP output. So they all try to key them wide open to get them to do that PP output. That's why we do the mods and the radios. So we can drop the carrier and swing high and, you know, get the results, achieve the results we want out of the amplifiers. But I hope this helped you guys. And I'm remade this video. And again, I apologize for the mistake. One pill is 25 output dead key. Two is 50. Four is 100. Six, 150. Eight, 200. Now I preach this and preach this because it's that easy to make a mistake. Just like me misreading that slug. I read that slug yesterday for a 50 instead of a 25. Told you guys it was 8 watt carrier. So here I was going to have you guys keen 8 watts in your boxes. Which if you had keyed 8 watts in your boxes, let's see what would have happened. If you keyed 8 watts in your boxes, right there would be 8 watts. What would it be doing? 400, which is too much. Okay. 8 watts in is 400 is too much. About 4 watts in 8 pills is where it needs to be. Like I said, guys, this is not in stone. This is not wrote down in no documents or no special uh, data sheets or nothing like that. This is what I do to keep the boxes working. I hope this helps you guys get longer life out of your product and uh, get a lot of talk time and hope to hear you all out there in DX land. Yo, friend 10, 018 Beavis. Catch me later.